what you see is a drainage system that has failed. All that pipe you see right there and all those surface inlet drains, this was some sort of somebody's idea on how to take care and manage yard water, and it just does not work. Surface drains will capture some of the surface water, but it doesn't take care of the saturated soils. You need to have a French drain full of stone so that the depth of the trench that you dig down to, you will drain the water, the saturated soil, down to that level. With a surface drain system, you're only going to catch surface water, and you're still going to have all the problems that you get when you have saturated soils, where when you mow the lawn, the lawn is really soft. In this case, the patio is just destroyed. This whole patio has got to be relifted. And they're going to have to install it after we get done putting a drainage system in to prevent this from happening again. We got an open French drain on both sides and in front of this patio. So the water can just run right through the stone. And we have a triple pitch. Basically, we have this patio that's going to be pitched away from the house. And the water is going to go in the open French drain. It's a walkout basement but we have a heavy pitch this way, so we're catching all that water here. And then there's a berm with some evergreen trees, and the water's all running this way. So basically we're grabbing the water here, we're gonna grab the water here, we're picking up the water that comes off the patio here, we're taking care of all the yard water. We're managing all the surface water as well as the subsoil water. We're going to be able to prevent that patio from going through all these heaving thaws and ending up in the condition that it's in. And then right here, we have this maple tree. This maple tree, it, it couldn't be in a worse spot. And this is, I would have preferred to have seen this tree removed, but the homeowner loves it it's not going to part with it so what we're doing is we're putting in a trench liner trench liner is going to protect our french drain it's going to make it really really hard for that tree to do damage to our french drain we also do an overdig because in time that tree is going to get roots they're going to get up and underneath our trench liner and it's going to push the system up if we do an overdig of six inches that buys us a lot of time by the time this tree actually roots underneath the system and lifts the French drain system, it's going to be decades from now. For a French drain system designed and installed correctly, give us a call.